Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, I want to say to many of you who are going through hell and high water, pardon the pun, fear not, don't be dismayed. A song says God will wipe all your tears away. He knows all your suffering. He knows all your pain. He knows your every weakness. He knows about the strain. He's bringing you out. I don't care. I don't know what you've been going through. I don't know what it's all about, but he is bringing you out. I don't have a doubt. Keep patiently waiting. I know he'll bring you out. Now, that's a song literally called Keep Patiently Waiting. And a lot of times we don't get the fact that when we are in the quandary, that we are not only dealing with the mess that's going on on this planet, because we just happen to live in it, but we are also becoming acquainted with the sufferings of Christ. So when we think God has abandoned us, if you think God has abandoned you, remember what Jesus said on the cross. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? So when he asked them, why hast thou forsaken? You may feel that way too. You may feel like, well, where was God in this? <sighs> He's right there. I I know it sounds trivial when I'm sitting out here on the patio on a beautiful, peaceful day. And some of you are in the thick of what's going on. But somehow, according to Romans 8, all things work together for the good. For the good. To those who love God, and those who are called according to his purpose. I know I've heard stories of 9-11, maybe this will help you see it, where a person was in the building while the fire was going on, and they heard a voice tell them, get on your hands and knees. It wasn't a human voice. And they told them to wait, be still, and watch the door. And all of a sudden, they could see past the smoke how to get out. They wouldn't have seen it had they been all caught up in the frenzy. So sometimes when the lights go out in your life like it is right now, that's the time to freeze, be still, seek God before you make your next move. He can rescue you quicker than the rescue people can. It's hard when you want to panic. But if you can force yourself not to panic and resist the temptation to do so, you will be able to hear God's voice and you will see God's hand and everything intervening in your situation to keep you and your loved ones safe, safe and sound. Ask God to give you an ear to hear, a heart to sense, and a mind to understand, and a spirit to be willing to obey when it goes against your understanding. Ask God to help you trust him. God bless you.